Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Noble Creation back to you with another video. Um, and this video is about Kalen Balaj, one of the most intriguing and underrated running backs that is coming in the 20 NFL draft. And I just wanted to highlight uh, Kalen Balaj on today and talk a little bit more about him. Um, as you know, Kalen Balaj is uh, a big guy. Now, um, Kalen Balaj, it's a little bit. He's a little bit different from the other backs. Uh, for one, he has the size of a, a, a of the uh, pro, prototypical um, big running back in the league. But another thing that fascinates me with uh, Kalen Balaj is his speed. Kalen Balaj is just as fast as the Barclays, the Pennies, um, the Chubbs, or whoever else. Um, I think he, actually, I think he might even be faster than Chubb uh, and Sony Michelle. He is going to. Possibly, Kalen Balaj could end up being a steal. Um, to me, Kalen Balaj is more like a power back with speed. Um, at college, he didn't, even as he attended uh, the University of uh, um, Arizona State um, for four years, he didn't produce a lot as far as uh, thousand yard seasons. But it's so intriguing because of his size and his size and his speed. And I, I to me. I think that Arizona State just didn't utilize Kalen Balaj right, um, even though he was with the program for four seasons. I just think that they didn't um, utilize the man right because uh, one season he had 44 receptions out of the backfield. So, and then the senior year just passed, he had 20 receptions. So Kalen Balaj is very intriguing, not only because of his uh, size at 6'2", but um, also um, being able to have speed with it. So definitely he he's probably going to end up probably being a second or third rounder um, or not uh, probably a fourth rounder. I don't know. Depends on uh, where he falls at. But he is very intriguing, man, because of his size and his speed. And to me, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He could be like a, a, a LeGarrette Blunt with speed. And that could be dangerous. Now, one thing I do know about Kalen Balaj is that he possessed power. He has elite receiving ability out of the backfield. And I think it's going to be intriguing to see where he falls. Now, this is another running back, you guys, that the Detroit Lions could look at and possibly take. And I wouldn't be mad if the Lions took Kalen Balaz because I think he'll run over some guys. Man, just, uh, man, he's, man, he just, they call him the physical specimen, man, because he's so big and he's so uh, NFL ready. So definitely, man, I, I, I can't wait to see the draft, man. The draft is April 26th. I'm excited to see which running backs are going to go where. I'm especially excited for the Detroit Lions to find out who and what running back they will eventually take. Um, but this is going to be very intriguing, guys, to see where Kalen Balaj lands. Whether he lands with the Detroit Lions or he goes to another team, it is what it is. It's the NFL draft. But besides that, I just think that this is a guy that the Detroit Lions definitely need to look at um, because I think that he is a running back. The Detroit Lions have – I don't think Detroit Lions have had a running back like Kalen Balaj that possess speed and power at the same time and is able to run over guys. Now, in one game in college, Kalen Balaj, um, I think he tied a uh, – FBS uh, record having eight touchdowns in one game. Yeah, he did against uh, Texas Tech. That is right. Against Texas Tech, he had eight touchdowns. Um, amazing, man, for a guy his size and a guy that utilizes his uh, um, speed in the open field whenever he's able to get open. But definitely, man, he's, he, he could end up being a steal for whatever team drafts him. I don't know how good he'll be in the NFL, but um, he's a guy. That is uh, one of those sleeper guys that you want to keep your eyes on because if he gets into the right scenario and the right, the right situation, he will be able to uh, be utilized and he may uh, definitely be a benefit to the team that drafts him. So this is another running back, you guys, that the Detroit Lions definitely need to do their homework on. If they don't get, uh, if they don't get guys, they don't get Freeman, they don't get Penny, they don't get uh, Sonny Michel or Nick Chubb or whoever else. Um, they may look at Kalen Balaj, man, the physical specimen. This is a guy that you want to uh, definitely uh, take a look at. His size is intriguing, and we'll be back. Peace.